Welcome back to Heavener's Trainer X. Um, today, what I'm going to cover is the hand position that you would want to set on the bow. And what we're going to use is the Trainer X to show you as an instructor and even as a student where to properly set your hand on the bow so that we can alleviate torque and get the best alignment between the bow and your hand and your front shoulder and the rest of your body mechanics for the alignment. So what I've done for demonstration purposes is that I've drawn a little dot here on my hand. And the reason that I want to use that to make contact with my riser is because when my hand comes back at approximately a 45 degree angle and my bow sits right there, then what happens is that I've alleviated unwanted torque on the bow by putting it there. I've also created a solid foundation for the bow to sit against with the muscles and the bones in, uh, in my forearm. So, as an instructor, I want you to take your student's hands and we're going to put it onto the riser or the grip on the trainer X. And as you come into position, their hands are able to come down and relax without having any torque on the side of the bow. So again, the fingers are able to come down and relax at a 45 degree angle and I can duplicate that shot and repeat it on a regular basis. So increasing the probability of making a better shot. So in a second I'm going to show you what I did on the back of the hand just to show you how to line that up. So now that we've got our little mark on the front of our hand and I'm able to put that onto the grip of the bow or the trainer, then now what I can do is on the back side of my hand I can just do something as simple as putting a little line there that gives me a visual representation of where I want my hand onto the training tool and the bow. So I've got that lined up. I'm able to duplicate that every time and we're making a, a, we're giving a better opportunity for us to duplicate a shot and make better shots on a regular basis. So, as I get my knuckles at a 45 degree angle, I lay my finger onto the trigger, and as I come through, I'm able to hold that steady. I'm able to expand through the shot, and my bow hand goes forward with the slight pressure that I'm putting against it. I'm able to finish with a good clean shot. But something as simple as this on your hand is gonna give you a really good, uh, a really good opportunity to make sure that your hands on the bow at the same position every time. So thanks for tuning in today. There's just a quick tip on how to uh, teach an archer, whether it's a new archer or some of us old dogs that are learning some of these newer tricks. Something as simple as this could help to uh, tighten up your groups. Thanks for tuning in today.